several hundred millions to give out. Treasure hunters search for Swiss bank accounts in the Swiss banking landscape. Did you have a death in the family? Have you found evidence of a Swiss bank account due to an inheritance? Have you discovered the key to a bank deposit box? Did you find an old notebook or diary that contains business-related notes? Have you found old flight tickets to Switzerland? Business cards of bankers, attorneys or trustees? Then it could be that you are sitting on millions without even knowing it. I will show you how to find the currently unknown assets that are awaiting for you in the future. During my more than 30 years of attorney as a specialist in such matters, I have several times had the experience of having my clients change into multimillionaires overnight. Let me show you how this works. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Hi there. This is Enzo Caputo from SwissBankingLawyers.com from Preparate Platz in Zurich. How can it be that there are thousands of bank accounts that contain millions in assets that are simply lying follow? In many cases, it's a matter of untaxed, clandestine, unreported income. Such unreported income is kept off of official company balance sheet and transferred to Switzerland. Cases involving bank accounts with unreported income almost always involve an agreement concerning with simple hold of mail at the bank. The correspondence remains in the bank. This specifies that the bank is not to send any mail to the actual address of the account holder. Such special agreements are entered into to make the work of tax investigators more difficult. These are also referred to as post restant or hold mail agreements. In order to maintain maximum secrecy, nested offshore structures are used. This is why the account would not be in the name of one of your family members, but rather be in the name of an offshore company. Bank deposit boxes are always managed with accounts in the name of offshore companies. If the bank has not been able to contact its customer for 10 years, then this account is given the status dormant account. This status lasts for 50 years. The account is reported to the ombudsman but continues to be managed by the bank in the interest of the customer. It is only after the passing of 60 years that the account is published on the internet. How do we research the existence of your bank account? What steps have to be taken to do so? If you have actually found the name of a bank, then you must contact this bank. However, the bank will not give you any information if you cannot provide identification that establishes you as a legitimate successor. The establishing of a legitimacy takes place through inheritance documents that are based on the place of residence of the deceased. I had a client who made a written inquiry to the suspected bank as to whether or not a bank account in the name of his grandfather existed. Unfortunately, the bank responded in the negative, all because the client had formulated the request in an improper fashion. Twelve years later, while working on another case, I discovered that there was indeed an account. And what an account! The bank account had a balance of 3.4 million Swiss francs and was associated with a bank deposit box containing almost 4 kilos of gold. In another case, we discovered a bank account without money that had already been closed. After an analytical reconstruction of the old account movements, we found references to further accounts. We analyzed a total of 400 account movements and created a list of unknown accounts. After additional intensive research, we had a total of three direct hits in three different banks. The first account only had a bank deposit box that contained a valuable coin collection. The second bank account was linked to a property that was still being managed by the old trustees. The third bank account had a balance of 360,000 Swiss francs. Documents that have been collected often contain valuable information that is not immediately apparent to the untrained eye. Even the smallest detail can prove to be the most decisive reference to a direct hit. This is why it is so important that all the documents are analyzed 
by an attorney specialized in this area. Successors can occur quite rapidly if all of the important documents are available. The further back in time the facts of the case are, the likelier is that the documentation will be less complete and the effort required will therefore be greater. The documents often contain names of banks that no longer exist. Many banks were brought up, liquidated or merged. Based on my years of experience, I am well acquainted with all bank names and their history. Many customers ask me just how much time such investigations take. The more detailed and comprehensive that the documents submitted are, the faster we can provide you with an estimate of the time required. It is only during the course of investigative work that the full complexity of the case is brought to the surface. Due to our many years of experience with offshore structures, we are easily able to understand and gain an overview of them. Our outstanding network of international contacts let us undertake comprehensive searches in the shortest possible period of time. The strict laws in Switzerland ensure that the bank account cannot simply disappear. Even the bank account of Lenin was able to be found at the Zürcher Kantonalbank. Lenin opened his account before the beginning of World War I in Zürich. Thanks to strict Swiss banking laws, this account survived both World War I and World War II. If you think that a relative of yours has assets in Switzerland, we are the right partners to help you find this out. Don't wait for years until the Swiss government finally collects your future assets. Just pick up your phone now and dial 0041442124404. Together we will devise the best strategy for you. May you be rich and stay rich. Have a wonderful day.